Hi students, uh, welcome back to the online session. In the previous class, uh, I explained you uh, regarding the power and energy signals. Energy signals and power signals. So, lastly, I given a problem and I solved it on the board. So, whether the given signal is an energy signal or power signal. And what is the value of the energy signal and what is the pow power of that signal. So, I solved it in the previous class. Now, today, I will go for finding the power and RMS value of a sinusoidal signal. Power and RMS value of a sinusoidal signal. So, generally, sinusoidal signal is represented by the equation, is represented by the mathematical equation, x of t equal to a sin omega t plus theta. Okay. General sinusoidal equation is represented with x of t equal to a sin omega t plus theta. So here a sin omega t plus theta. General sinusoidal general sinusoidal equation. See this. So this is the general representation of sinusoidal. Now here we want to find out this value of the power of the sinusoidal signal and RMS value of the sinusoidal signal. So in the previous class I given you the formula for power of a given signal. So again the formula to calculate the power of a given signal. So this is the formula to find out the power of a given signal. So here the power will be find out by limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 t here the t is the period integral minus t to t mod of x of t whole square dt. Okay. See this I already explained you this in the previous class. So this is square of the signal and one, this is summation integration. Here the square of the signal is summing integrating in the intervals minus t to plus t. So whenever we want to find out the average of three numbers, we will add the three numbers in the numerator and the denominator value will be the count of the numerator numbers. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 5 plus 10 plus 15 divided by 3. In the same way, here the mean square value is added, is added by the integration between minus t to plus t. So the total period is t minus of minus t. t minus of minus t is t plus t, that is 2t. So the total period is 2t. So we have to write the 2t in the denominator. So this is the numerator value adding all the squares of the values divided by the total number that is total period that is 2t. So in general we will call it as the average or technically it will call as mean. So this is the mean square value. So this will give the this is power will give the mean square value. So if you know the power value of the power, if you know the value of the power, then I can find out the root mean square. Already this power is the mean square value. Power is the mean square value. So I know the power as 40. I know the power as 40, the power of the signal is 40. Then what is the root mean square? Just applying root to that power. Root mean square. Let us take this is the mean square value. So if we apply root for this, if we apply root for this, then that will become as root mean square value or simply the root of that power value is nothing but the root mean square value, RMS value. So by this formula, you can find out the power of the signal. Okay, you can find out the power of the signal by this formula. After that, applying the root to that one, I can get the RMS value of the signal. So, I am directly giving the formulas because in gate, these type of problems they will ask. So, for that reason, I am directly giving the formulas for power and root mean square value of a sinusoidal signal. Okay, sinusoidal signal. See, the power of a sinusoidal signal with amplitude A. Let us take, if there is any sinusoidal signal having an amplitude a for the sinusoidal signal that is a sign of cosine that signal the sinusoidal signal having amplitude a then the power of that signal is equal to a square by 2 a square by 2 so here the power of a sinusoidal signal with the amplitude a is equal to a square by 2 a square by 2 where a is the amplitude of that uh, signal okay and rms value is equal to what is it power is equal to a square by 2 so that is the mean square value so I need the power. So, so this mean square value is the power. I need RMS value. I need RMS value. What I have to do? I have to apply root for the 
mean square then it will become as root mean square so here the mean square is the power so i have to apply the root of that power value so root of let us go for this one yeah so simply root p nothing but root of a square by 2 because for the sinusoidal signal with amplitude a the power value is a square by 2 so that is root of a square by 2 If you go for simplification of this one, what we get? So in the numerator we get a because root of a square is a divided by root two. So this is the value for RMS value. This is the value of RMS root mean square value for a sinusoidal signal with amplitude a. So for that reason, I am giving the example for your work at your home for your practice. Let us consider consider sine sine signal x of t as a sine omega t plus theta. So this is sine sine signal sine signal with amplitude a. So prove that the power of this signal, the power of a sine omega t plus theta, power of this signal is equal to a square by two, and RMS value of this signal is equal to a by root two, a by root two. Okay. So this is for your work so do for your practice so how can you find out you can find out the power by the general formula i will explain you okay limit t to infinity 1 by 2t integral minus t to plus t mod of x of t whole square dt so using that formula you can find out the power okay so that value must and should be equal to a square by 2 so you have to prove that okay that is for your practice okay here the small logic is If you have once only one sine sine signal, then it will be easy. If there is sum of two sine sine signals, sum of two sine sine signals, that is two cos three t plus four sine five t, two cos three t plus four sine five t. Okay, there are combination of two signals. Then how we have to find out the RMS value? Okay, first of all we have to calculate the power of total signal. First of all we have to calculate the power of total signal. So how the power will be calculated? so the power will be calculated for the first one first one so there are the combination of two sine sine signals first calculate the power for the first sine sine signal and then calculate the power for the second sine sine signal then add that two then you get the power of the total signal power of the total signal then only you have to go for rms so rms value of the total signal is rms value of the total signal is root of power of the complete signal okay you don't go for finding the rms values you don't go for individual values don't go for individual that is finding the rms of first value and then finding the rms of first second value and then adding that is the wrong way okay because there is root mean square root mean square it is not uh, uh, mean root mean square so first of all when there are I'm explaining you once again when there are uh, two sine solid signal summation that is there is a two sine solid signal which are added together Like two cos three t plus three sine four t combination. So if they ask you to find out the power value, if ask you to find out the power value, first calculate the power for two cos three t. Calculate the power. Next three cos four t. Calculate the power. Add the power of these two values. Add the power of these two values. So that will be given the power of your complete signal. First thing. Now. For finding the RMS value, what you do? Just apply square root of the power of the obtained complete signal. Simple process. That's it. Don't do uh, finding the RMS value of the first signal and then uh, finding the RMS value of the second signal and adding together. That will give the wrong values. Okay. So I will explain these by the help of some problems. So we will go for we will do the some problems. Then you will have a clear picture or clear idea. About how to find out the power and RMS value of a sine sine signal and power and RMS value of a combination of a sine sine signals. Okay, we will go for the problems regarding this. So here I have given three problems as examples. Okay, for the given three problems, we have to find out power and RMS values. So determine the power and RMS values of the following signals. So first, I will start with this signal. I will start with this signal. So what the signal is? Here the signal is what is the signal? Signal is x of t equal to seven cos twenty t. Seven cos. So compare this signal with the standard signal, standard form of the signal. So that is a cos of 
omega t plus some theta. So this is the standard form. So compare the above signal with the standard form. Because why? Because so if we know the if we know the amplitude of the signal, then I can find out the power directly by square of the amplitude by two. Because I already explained the previous set here for a sinusoidal signal with amplitude a, the power is equal to a square by two. So first, if I know the amplitude, then I can easily calculate the power by the formula a square by two. So then the RMS value is getted by the equation root of power. That is the root mean square value, root of power. So for this reason, first I have to find out the amplitude. So how will you find out the amplitude? Just compare the given signal with the standard signal. So here the standard signal, standard form of the signal, a is the amplitude. A is the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency and theta is the phase angle. So there is no theta and the omega value is 20 and a value is 70. So here the amplitude of the given signal is 7 simply. Now I need the power. So power will be equal to a square by 2. It is nothing but 7 square by 2. So what is 7 square? 49 by 2. So 49 by 2 that will be equal to 24.5 24.5 simple okay so this one 24.5 so there is a power of the signal now i need rms value of the given signal so what is the rms value rms value equal to go for root of power so the root of 24.5 so this explanation is only for sinusoidal signals that is sin omega t, phi sin omega t 6 cos omega t. so these are these are the formulas for sinusoidal signal hence while giving for the formula i had written power of a sinusoidal signal with amplitude a so it must be a sinusoidal signal and have some amplitude a then the formula is equal to a square by 2 so for your better understanding i ask you to prove that Take a sinusoidal signal and calculate the power of that signal that must and should be equal to a square by 2. So that is power should not depend on these values. It will depend only on the amplitude. For that reason, I ask for you to prove this. So that is for your practice. And then we have to go for RMS value of which is equal to root of that power. Okay. Now, so this is the first one. So there I got the power value as 24.5 and the RMS value as root of 24.5 root of 24.5 root of 24.5 for the given signal RMS value clear yeah we will go for the next one so this is the RMS value and this is the power value okay see then I go for second thing I hope you are all clear with this. So next, I will go for this one. Okay. First, go for the second example. So you know the, you know how to solve, how to find out the value of power and RMS value of this signal. So this is another type of signal. So here the given signal is 8 cos 40 cos 60. 8 cos 40 cos 60. So we have to solve this. We have to solve this. First, I have to convert, I have to convert this uh, cos, let us think this as A, let us think, let us go this as A and this as B, cos A, cos B. So, we have to convert the multiplication of two signals into the summation of the two signals, multiplication of two cos sine signals into sum of the two si cos sine signals. For that, we have to use uh, trigonometric formulas. Let us consider this as cos A, cos B, cos A, cos B. I need the formula of uh, cos A cos B. So everyone know the formula for cos A cos B or simply everyone know the formula for 2 cos A cos B. So 2 cos A cos B equal to cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B. So this is a formula for 2 cos A cos B. But what I need? But what I need? I need, I need only what I need? So, here 
here uh, cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. But I need so this is the value of 2 cos a cos b. So 2 cos a cos b equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. What I need? I need the value of uh, cos a cos b. I need the value of cos a cos b. Simply bring that to this side. Bring that to this side. So this is the formula for cos a cos b. So convert this into summation of the multiplication of two cos signals into summation of two signals. So this signal can be written as, how can you write? So the same signal can be written as h into cos a cos b. So we have to write of cos of a plus b. So cos of a plus b is cos a plus b 40 plus 60 20 plus 20 plus cos of a minus b. So 40 minus 60 minus 2t cos of minus 2t cos of minus 2t what happens cos of minus 2t cos of minus theta nothing but cos theta cos of minus theta is we know that cos of minus theta equal to cos theta so cos of minus 2t is also equal to cos 2t so here it is written cos 2t the whole divided by 2 okay so finally what we get so 2 1s to 4s we get 4 cos 10t plus 4 cos 2t. So this is what I got. So now the multiplication of the two cos signals is converted into addition of two cos signals. Now compare this signal with the general signal. So the general signal I already told you. A cos omega t. So compare this with this general signal A cos omega t. General signal. What happens? The value of A will be equal to 4. So here also general signal the value of a equal to 4. In both the cases, the amplitude is 4 itself. So, consider this as separate. For this uh, cosine signal, how will you calculate the power? The power of this signal is equal to a square by 2. So, that is 4 square by 2 power. Okay, for this signal, the power is again 4 square by 2. 4 square by 2. So, I will add the two signals to get the complete power. So power equal to 4 square by 2 plus 4 square by 2. So what will you get? This is 16 by 2 plus 16 by 2. 8 plus 8. So that equal to 16. So that is the value of power for the given signal. I need RMS value. RMS value is simple. So we all know the RMS value will be equal to root of the value of power. So your power is 16. So root 16 that equal to 4. RMS value will be equal to 4 and the power value will be equal to 16 watts. If you want to write units as watts. Okay, 16. Clear? So this is how to calculate power and RMS value of a signal. So here you don't go for individually finding the RMS values. So finding the RMS value this one and finding the RMS value of this one and adding the two will not give the right answer. So that is not right process because it is not the addition or the taking average. It is root mean square. Okay. So we have to completely find out the complete signal power and then you have to go for a root of that value to find out the RMS value. Okay. So the second model and now I will go for, I hope you are all clear with this one. Now I will go for the uh, last example, okay, third one that is a into e power j phi t. So, uh, last one here consider here consider x of t equal to third one a into e power j phi t. Clear? Okay, so I said the formula for power is for sine sodium signal with amplitude a. So, this is an exponential signal. So convert that exponential signal into sine sodium signal. How will you convert? So the basic formula. What is the basic formula? E power j theta. So the formula for e power j theta. E power j theta formula is cos theta plus j sin theta. Cos theta plus j sin theta. So e power j theta equal to cos theta plus j sin theta. So, this is a basic formula. Everyone will know. So, treat this as e power j theta. That is in place of theta, we have phi t. We have phi t. So, 
how will how can you modify this one a as this a into e power j phi t can be written as cos phi t plus j sin phi t a into a into cos phi t plus j sin phi t so i have kept a as this and e power j phi t as e power j theta so e power j theta formula is cos theta plus j sin theta so simply i write then e power j phi t as cos phi t plus j sin phi t uh, so expand this a cos phi t plus a j sin phi t so the real signal this is a imaginary signal but amplitude for the amplitude real part or imaginary part for this signal the amplitude is a for this signal also the amplitude is a so for calculating the power we have to consider separately separately so separately how this is a sinusoid signal with amplitude a so the power of this signal is now i am going for calculating the power the power of signal is a square by 2 next plus this is the sinusoid signal with amplitude a again the power of the signal is a square by 2 so 1 by 2 a square plus 1 by 2 a square 1 by 2 a square plus 1 by 2 a square what happens the answer is a square 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which will be equal to 1 half plus half will give full that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 1 by 2 a square plus 1 by 2 a square equal to a square so the power of the given signal is a square so for this signal the power is a square for this signal the power is a square i need the rms value so finally rms value will be equal to root of power value that is a square that will be equal to a okay so for this signal the power value is a square and for this signal the rms value is a simple problems these are the simple problems regarding uh, finding the power and rms values of a sinusoidal signal so you can practice more at your home okay so i hope you all have thorough knowledge on this i hope you all have have the better understanding of all this next one so next we will go for the next topic is we will go for uh causal and non causal signals next topic is causal and non causal signals okay so which signal is called as causal signal and which signal is called as uh, non causal signal simple causal non causal okay so causal signal a continuous time signal x of t is said to be causal a continuous time signal x of t is said to be causal if x of t equal to 0 x of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 that means we have the values of x of t only after 0 that is greater than 0 only if the signal is present if the signal is present only after t greater than 0 then we call that signal as causal signal that is the causal signal have values for positive t only only for positive t if we have the values for the signal then that signal is called as causal signal otherwise it is a non causal simply non causal means it can have the values on both sides it has x of t has the value for positive t and x of t has the value for negative t that is if the signal is on both sides if the signal is on both sides then we could call that signal as a non causal okay simply there is one more thing anti causal there is one more thing anti causal so a continuous signal x of t is said to be anti a uh, causal and non causal simple a causal signal does not exist for negative time i already explained you the causal signal does not exist for negative time negative time okay so a anti causal signal does not exist for positive time okay causal signal does not exist for negative time and anti causal signal does not exist for positive time a signal which exists in both positive and as well as negative time is nothing but non causal a signal which exists in both positive as well as negative is nothing but a nothing but a non causal signal okay so i will go for this so go through this and i will explain the remaining part in the next class okay so uh, summary i will go for the summary what i explained in this class summary okay so
summary. Now, up to now, so what we have discussed. So in this class, we discuss only few topics. We have discussed only few topics. So those topics are what are those topics? Let us consider first one. First, I explained you uh, what is a power signal and what is an energy signal. Okay. So equation for power signal and equation for energy signal, everything. So uh, class before this one, I explained this one. In this class, I put more concentration on how to find out how to find out the power and RMS value. Power. How to find out the power and RMS value of a sinusoidal signal. How to calculate the power and RMS value of a sinusoidal signal. So this is what I explained in this topic. Okay. So let us here for example I am considering the sinusoidal signal is amplitude A. Then its power will be equal to if sinusoidal signal having amplitude A then power is equal to A square by 2. A square by 2 and RMS value is nothing but square root of power that is square root of A square by 2 and the RMS value of a sinusoidal signal with amplitude A will be equal to A by root 2. So I asked you to prove this for your practice. Okay. And I gone for some examples, problems regarding this. How to calculate the power and how to calculate the RMS values. So you have to do some problems. And lastly, I go on for the definitions of what is a causal signal and what is a non-causal signal and what is an anti-causal signal. So in the next class, I will continue with causal and non-causal signals. Thank you. Thank you one and all.